Hi everybody, welcome to The Truth That Never Sleeps here on YouTube. Please, please subscribe as I expose the satanic new world order like nobody else does on the internet. You know, today is a topic that I've covered before, the homosexual Illuminati agenda. And again, this is just more proof that these people, these evil, wicked people are doing. And today, uh, you know, this story that I'm going to cover is just uh, more proof of this. You see, children as young as 13 to be asked whether they are gender fluid, demi-girl, or intersex. Official surveys asked pupils to pick from a list of 25 genders, and this was in England here, and, you know, the so-called, uh, you know, commissioner of England, uh, you know, is asking children as young as 13 to find out how gender matters to young people and what they are. And, you know, when you're a kid, when you're a young child, um, you're very impressionable. The Illuminati knows this. You see, if you mind control a person at a very young age, they are scarred. They think that way. So again, by giving this questionnaire to these kids, it is, you know, confusing them. So let's go through this. And as I'm reading this, you're going to even be confused, uh, you know, of, of these terminologies. They're ludicrous. It's just ridiculous. So here we go. Girl or boy. Okay. You can be that. You can be a tomboy. Now, again, when I was a kid, I used to play with tomboys. Those were girls that would play with, you know, play sports, baseball, football, climb trees with boys. There's nothing wrong with tomboys. Most of these girls that were tomboys became beautiful women. But again, it's just, you know, trying to make, you know, a tomboy a bad name. A female or male, a young woman or a young male. Now, again, folks, you know... As a young kid, you know when you go to the bathroom whether you have a male part or a female part. Bottom line. So again, now these new questions here are just crazy. They're just they're evil. They're manipulative to a very young impressionable person. All right. So now they're telling kids if you're a, are you a trans girl, someone who is or is transitioning from a male to a female. So now you are you're you're a girl but now you're turning into a a boy. Okay? Or a trans boy is someone who has or is transitioning from a female to a male. Are you getting this? All right? So this would be a question a, a good question if your body parts, your uh you know, your sexual organs would transform as you would be growing up to know what you are. So if you had a penis and it transforms into a vagina, then you can ask this question. But last time I checked, it doesn't change on its own. God gave you one or the other. But again, this is manipulative to the young, uh, you know, young reader. You are now gender fluid you can be. Those who have a different gender identity at different times. So again, now you can change. You can just change automatically. But again, your body parts dictate what you are. You can be in a gender. Again, those with no gender identity or a neutral identity. Okay, so that's confusing. Uh, you can be adrogynous. All right, partly male and female of indeterminate sex. So again, now it's a confusion. You don't, you don't know what you are, but okay, I can be this or that. You know, this reminded me of the story of the Norwegian lady, uh, you know, Norwegian woman believes she is a cat trapped in a human's body. Okay. So there you go. This is an illness. This is a sickness, a mental illness. This is what's going on. This woman is sick. She again, meows in front of doors. She hisses at dogs and she doesn't like water. This woman is demonically possessed. You, instead of going to doctors, you got to take her to the vet. This is how crazy these people that made up the survey. But again, this is all part of the agenda. Now you can be by gender. Those who experiences two genders identity, either at the same time or varying between the two. These can be male or female. Now you can be a male or female. It doesn't matter. Just like the cat woman, she can be a cat or she could be a human. Folks, it, it, is, it is time to, to wake up. Uh, you know, these are again from female, male, or other gen gender identities. You're now binary. When I think of binary, I think of binary computer codes, ones and zeros, right? But now it's a sexual term, an umbrella term to describe those who do not feel exclusively male or female. So again, it's you can pick or you don't you don't feel like anything now. 
Okay. Uh, Demi boy, someone who identifies is only partly male. How can he be partly male? You have half a penis, regardless of their birth gender, they may or may not identify as other genders as well. So you see how confusing the same thing as a demi girl, the female version of a demi boy. Uh, again, you have gender queer. Those who do not subscribe to conventional gender distinctions, okay? So now you're gender queer if you feel like, yeah, I don't have distinctions of anything, right? Uh, gender non-conforming, okay? Gender non-conforming. Those who do not follow traditional ideas about how they should look or act based on their birth assigned genders. You can be a transgender, shift between three genders. Now the three, okay? So now you're a male, a female, or you're just neutral you don't have any uh you know sexual thing right um, which could include male female and genderless or be another combination wow i wonder what that one is all genders someone who identifies as all possible genders options and then in the middle of boy and girl an individual who identifies somewhere in the in between the male and female genders and you know this this all stems to again uh, just uh, bisexual and, and that's a big push you know these children are going to be reading this oh I like boys and girls now I'll do anything and that's again to push this this you know just blasphemous stuff again uh, again between the male and female genders intersex someone who has genetically hormones and physical features that may be thought typical of both male and females now again there is what they call hermaphrodites, where they will have a male part and a female part. We know this, okay? But when you look at their chromosomes, you go to the doctor, you take your blood test, and they will tell you what you are more of, whether you're male or female. So again, this is all bunk. This is all Illuminati satanic garbage to manipulate young children. And, and again, it's confusing as all hell. I'm a grown man, and I can't understand half this stuff. But that is the reality. And we see it in these new news articles time and time again here's this eight-year-old that again learned how to dress in drag folks this is uh, just sickening but again that's how they're going to manipulate the youth to uh you know accept this again you have bruce jenner bruce gender bender again woman of the year does this make sense this guy is a male he's not a female he still has all his male organs all his male parts again miley cyrus uh, promotes uh, and these uh singers actors hollywood definitely promotes this again um the transgender movement if you can't see this this uh, abomination with the illuminati eyes and, and pyramids and, and satanic system uh mindset because this is all part of the satanic new world order set by the illuminati i've talked about this in other videos again your dna tells you what you are no doubt about it again if these children are confused you know what you do you take them to church you tell them you know a male and a female the birds and bees okay we used to call them that all right uh you tell them the reality jesus made you a a female or a male god loves you no matter what and that's how you do it that's how you do it but this is all part of the satanic new world order agenda to destroy you into their god and their god is lucifer or baphomet which is a hermaphrodite or has both sexes male and female can you see why they're pushing it here you see again the breast uh, and then here you see the penis, okay, right there, right here you see it, because this stems all the way from the pits of hell, and they want you to believe in their God and act like their demonic God, folks, that's it. So if you're a homosexual, if you are, again, uh, confused, because this is what this article is about, confusing an individual, especially at a very young age, you have been manipulated. You have been lied to. Again, the devils and the demons have, you know, put thoughts in your minds and throughout the media to make you think that you're different, that you're not a, a if you're a male, you don't like girls, or if you're a girl, you don't like boys. No, God put that in you. That's why you have those 
those specific uh, parts in your body. And it's time to get to God. You know, we're all sinners. Every single one of us. I'm not perfect. I'm a sinner. But we need Yeshua, Jesus Christ. And Christ can change you every day of your life to become that much more better. So say this prayer right now with your heart. Dear Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God and that you died for my sins. And that you died on that cross and rose again as written in the Bible. Forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart. Take charge of my life and make me the person you want me to be. Cleanse me with your heart, you know, uh, cleanse my heart with your precious blood. Write me in your book of life. I confess right now that Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ is my Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you, dear God. You know, and you know, I just pray for all the people that have been confused. They think they are these different sexual terms, which are all made up by these demonic uh, spirits in these people. Father God, I rebuke them right now in the name of Jesus. Let's become what you want us to become. You made us male or female and you made us to love you and to again, just go to you and not be manipulated by the satanic Illuminati. Let's break away from it right now. If you said that prayer, uh, again, read the Bible, pray every day, and you will be changed. I promise you that. Again, thank you for watching this video. I pray that it has been a blessing. May God always bless you and keep you.